All right, we're going to do a little uh, wind testing today. We got a good uh, wind day going on. Um, pretty breezy, uh, yeah, 15, 20 miles an hour with gusts up into the uh, mid to high 20s, some low 30s. And uh, doing some testing of the high energy uh, 1,000 uh, watt, 1 kilowatt turbine, their new and improved model that I ordered uh, directly from China uh, a month or two ago. Uh, new improved blade design and according to high energy new alternator design as well. And uh, I'm also trying out a new um, grid tie configuration. At least with this turbine I'm running two Sun G uh, grid tie inverters GTI stacked wired in parallel. Um, pretty simple um, system I've got. Input off the uh, or output off the turbine is coming into an 80 amp rectifier, brake switch, two GTIs, and those are feeding into this kilowatt meter here on the left. Take a quick peek at the uh, turbine. It's pretty windy. It's going to be noisy outside. You'll see two of them up there, but uh, the higher one is the uh, new high energy turbine. Pretty open location here. So get a lot of good wind consistently. Interesting little illustration as you see here. We've got the new high energy. Now it's coming around to the north. That's the old high energy. Illustrates how much uh, the wind can differ just from the couple of feet of mounting difference. In any case, uh, it's a little bit variable today in terms of the wind, in terms of direction, which is cutting down the output here. But uh, we'll take some readings here, and I'm going to come back uh, later today as time goes on, just to give you an idea. Remember both GTIs feeding into this one kilowatt here. I've experimented with some different configurations, as have others, including uh, running a smaller GTI along with the larger ones to uh, pick up the lower voltage. I'm still experimenting with that off and on. But most recently, I've been sticking just with the uh, higher voltage GTI. So there's a 24 mile an hour gust. Now we're into the low 20s. See if we get something up a little higher here. This new turbine appears to be quite powerful, something I've learned the hard way, uh, blowing out one GTI, probably because of an inadequately sized dump load, also managed to uh, blow the blades right off the first one. Um, again, maybe a dump load issue. Should have mentioned with my configuration here, each of these GTIs is uh, feeding into these are uh, new dump load coils by a Chinese manufacturer distributed, bought off eBay, rated at 1.5 kilowatts. The manufacturer insists that uh, they have been matched and tested with the Sunji inverters. And so at least part of what I'm trying to do here with the stacking is split the output, one with its own uh, dump load and maybe give myself an extra layer of protection during these higher 
uh, wind events, not like today certainly when I had the uh, blade issue before. Probably got a gust up into the high 60s, low 70 mile an hour. And there may not have been anything to do in that instance, but it still should have slowed uh, them down beyond that. So I'm experimenting with that. Also seeing if the output by being split between the two GTIs um, will maybe uh, keep it out of overvolt more often and in the production zone. I'll make another video here shortly that shows that with the two GTI stacked this way it's not a perfect splitting of the output. Seems like one takes about two-thirds and the other about a third. Um, but it does split it. Yesterday had a pretty amazing wind day. Thankfully not a damaging wind day. But pretty high sustained winds and uh, not too variable in terms of the direction, which seems to be a huge issue too. When the wind is variable, um, it's flipping those tails and the turbines around. Uh, it's hard to sustain the higher RPMs, but yesterday, almost perfect straight line winds out of the north. There's 570s there. And between the old HY1000 that I've got running, and I'm just running that on a single Sun G GTI with its own single matched dump load, because I've not had issues with it. Um, overpowering a single grid tie inverter. Between the old uh, one kilowatt turbine and the new one, I produced 12 kilowatt hours of energy over a 24 hour period yesterday, which was uh, amazing. So this new turbine clearly can crank it out. The most I've ever seen off the old design of the high energy one kilowatt was four kilowatt hours over a 24 hour period and those winds were actually I think higher than yesterday's. So really impressive results yesterday and now I'm doing a little specific testing of this um, new turbine just to kinda put some data out there for folks on the kind of um, output we're seeing with some different uh, winds. You may have saw it when we looked outside there, my wind cups, uh, it's an in-speed uh, anemometer, and that's the output that I'm looking at here. I'm just using um, some software on my phone to link up to my home computer that's running software that's tied into that in-speed wind meter. And so that's what we're using to uh, clock the wind here. Let's see if we get another good guest here. Ooh, there's 27. Uh, 725. So that was a good one. I think the one thing that is hurting the output a little bit today, as we saw in the video of the actual turbines is the wind direction is much more variable today than yesterday and I think that's flipping these around a little bit more and uh, making it tougher for the RPMs to um, build up as much and generate the output. But still not too shabby. It's uh, about noon and for today's 24 hour period I'm at about six and a half kilowatt hours between the two turbines for today. Nothing to uh, sneeze at. But we'll come back a little bit later today maybe we'll pick up uh, some higher wind gusts here and see if we can't break uh, the kilowatt hour. Signing off.